This little desk fan is broken. The blades, if I turned on the power, are only going around really slowly. There we go. You can see it just doesn't want to move. So I'll show you how to fix it. First of all, you've got to get inside. Pull the next housing off. And there's a the motor inside. What happens is, this gets all cheesed up with goo. You see a bit of hairy stuff on it already. So you got to find a way to get in there. In under the back, there's a little bit of sponge and another screw, and this time it's got a triangular head. So what I've done is I've taken a regular nail, four inch nail, sawn the end off and I've been filing the uh, triangle into it. There we go. That's a good fit like that. So let's get a handle on it. There you go, pretty tasty. That's the back plastic off. Now we can see what we've got. So there's two things that can go wrong with these. One is that the bar gets all choked up, which is what it is, because I could feel how stiff that is. The other is that the little capacitor here dies. So we've got to take this apart. There we go come off the shaft. You can see the shaft is just a bit gummy. That's a squirrel cage motor. There's your squirrel cage on the inside. And there's a bearing just in here. Let's see if I can get this little drift pin out here. It means that I should be able to pull it through now and give the shaft a clean first so I'm not dragging dirt. Get it stuck on that bearing in there. There we go. You can see that just stuck on crud there is what's getting in the way. Give it a clean. If we can get inside and give that their little, um, little bronze bushing, maybe I'd say, but you, I can't show you very clearly. But there's crud on the inside of that as well, so put some sauce on it, just give it a bit of a you can see that black crud that's come off there, that's what's. That's what's blocking it. Try this. You can see compared to before, it just spins freely. So I'm probably at this for about 20 minutes so far. And the fan's worth probably 10, 20 quid new. You gotta ask yourself if it's worth doing this, but I guess I've done that and I've come to the conclusion that somehow it is. That's coming out clean enough. Let's check the other side of this. So that's far freer there. So that should just go back together and work perfectly. So it's still a little bit stiff. We'll get some oil on it. That should free it up. Just a drop. That'll attract the next late layer of dust. The split pin back in. side to side rotations working pretty good clunky as ever so really all we did was we took it apart cleaned it oiled it put it back together it's the thing that fixes most machines there you go oh yeah that's the other thing we did we made a tool a little triangular bladed screwdriver out of a four inch nail thanks for watching see you later